Alright, this is first grade, module 2, lesson 14, and in this lesson we're going to continue subtracting by 9, and uh, we're going to continue subtracting 9 from the teen numbers, uh, but instead of directly using the subtracting from 10 strategy, uh, we're going to be kind of guiding our students towards another strategy. Um, ultimately, for example, if it's 14 minus 9, ultimately, not in this lesson, but ultimately, we're going to get students to the point where they're going to be using the strategy of saying, well, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus the extra 4 is makes 5. So 14 minus 9 is 5. And that's where we're going to lead to, and that's what this lesson is about. It's almost like a transitional lesson where we're still using those drawings and subtracting from 10, but we're guiding our students towards a new strategy. So let's get going. So it says subtract 10, and I mean circle 10, and then subtract, make a number bond. So the idea is we're going to say, well, here's our 10, because we've got 15 minus 9. So here's 10 plus 5 is 15. So here's our 15 hearts. We've circled our 10. And now we're going to subtract 9. So we're going to cross off these 5 and then these 4. So we can clearly see that our answer is going to be, oh, let's do it in black, uh, these 5 plus this 1. So we can clearly see that the answer is 6. So our number bond that we're going to make for this problem is going to be 15 is our whole. We're going to put 9 because that's what we're subtracting by. Over here is we're subtracting by 9. And then what is our answer? Our answer is 6. So this is laying the groundwork for students to eventually start saying, hmm, here's 9. We're going to add 1 plus 5 and get 6. We're going to uh, guide students towards this eventual strategy. And again, it's not the standard algorithm yet. The standard algorithm would look something like this. Uh, but it's more than just the standard algorithm. We want students to uh, develop an understanding of shortcuts for how to get this answer rapidly rather than just memorizing their subtraction facts. And at this point, this the purpose of this number bond is to say we are showing students to say that well, 9 plus 1 gives us 10, plus 5 more gives us 15, so therefore our answer is 6. And that's kind of where we're heading towards. All right, this is more of the same, but in a slightly different format. We're going to draw our 14. They're making us draw the 14 instead of supplying it for us. So here is 10, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I... Um, prefer to put things in 10 frames because that way students aren't going to, they're less likely to miscount. Uh, I know that Eureka Math has been having our students draw in a big old long line in groups of five. I prefer 10 frames, but that's going to be me. And now we are supposed to subtract our nine. So we're going to subtract our nine. So that's going to be all five of the top row, four down here. And so now we can see that our answer is these four plus one. So it's, it's five is our answer. So what is the number bond that they want us to do? And I'm going to cross this guy off because I'm going to put our number bond right here. So our number bond, we've got 14 right here. And then because we subtracted 9, that's going to be here. There's our number bond to represent the problem. 14 minus 9, so here's 14 minus 9. And what's our missing value? We can see it right here. It's 1 plus the 4, which is 5. And I'll put that in red. Let's just do more of the, more of the same. And we'll do it down here. So we've got 16 minus 9. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to model that 16. And let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16. 
So there's our 16 that we begin with. And now it says we need to subtract 9. Well, subtracting 9 is pretty straightforward. It's all 5 up here and 4 down here. So what is our remainder here? What's left over? As in, I guess, what's our difference? Well, we've got one more from the 10. One more makes 10 plus the 6 down here, so that's 7. So our answer, we can see, is 7. So let's see. Let's go over here. We'll cross this off. And now let's do 16. So what is our number bond? So I'll, I'll make it a vertical number bond this time. So we've got 16 right here minus the 9. So right there, I've just modeled the problem. 16 minus 9. Now we know the answer is 7 because we can see we've got one more to fill out the 10 plus the 6, so that's 7. And there's our number bond. More of the same. So the idea is, um, what are we going to do to, to fill in this number bond? Well, let's see. We know the goal is to get to 13. And we know that one more gives us 10, plus 3 more gives us 13. Ah, so 1 plus 3 is 4. So that means our missing value is 4. Down here, well, 1 more would give us 10, plus 4 more would bump us all the way up to 14. So five, 4 plus 1 is 5. So that's going to be, you could either do 1 plus 4, or you could do 4 plus 1 is 5. And then let's see, let's this last one down here, let's see if we could just write it over here. Well, we know 1 more is going to give us 10. That's this guy. And we're trying to go up to 15, so we need 5 more, so our answer is 6. So basically, we've now kind of crossed over, and we are now really focusing on helping the students with that count-up method, using 10 as our benchmark. In this case, starting here with 9, starting with 9, add 1 more, you get 10, and then add 3 more, you get to 13, so 1 plus 3 is 13. And that is really kind of wrapping up the strategy that we're currently working on. And that wraps up first grade module 2, lesson 14, subtracting 9 from teen numbers, but we are using the essentially kind of like the count up method, saying, well, start with the 9, and if you add 1, you get to 10, you add 5 more, you get to 15, so 1 plus 5 is 6. Now that's eventually where we're going to get to.